Hey guys, John here from Deadland Steamworks. Today I wanted to do something kind of quick and hopefully helpful for all of you guys who may or may not have a small or a big channel, whatever. But if you need audio, well, let's talk about it. So there's a bunch of different royalty-free sort of stock audio websites out on the internet and I'm gonna talk about two of them the first one I want to talk about is audio blocks and the second one we want to talk about is epidemic sound I've used both currently still paying for both well I canceled my subscription to one of them and we're gonna talk about it let me jump into the computer and show you why over here we have the YouTube creator studio classic loaded and you can see all of my videos here. I'm gonna go over here to copyright notices. Now this is my problem with audio blocks. Still to this day, after not having used them for months, I'm still getting copyright not notices sent to me in my email stating that I've got copyrighted content. Let's jump back in here. As you can see here, I have a pile of videos with copyright claims on them. And we'll just start here at the top. It includes copyrighted content, I'm just gonna click that link. And it'll show you, claimant route, no, route note on behalf of Cagbag Records. And then we'll go to the next one. This one is add share for a third party, hawk for a third party. And you'll notice that a lot of these, this video was published April 3rd, March 30th, February 13th, all of this year. Uh, they're not very, they're not very old publishings, just, just six, eight months ago, but I'm continually getting copyright claims. And Audio Blocks provides a really handy way of dealing with that. If you go over here to Audio Blocks and you go to your dashboard and you click on YouTube licensing, you will see that there is a start new dispute button. Now this is where it gets really fun because Audio Blocks provides this way of filing claims. You would typically think that this would be the most handy thing ever, but let me let me show you. When you click on start new dispute, you get a list of claimants, just this massive list. So you pick your claimant out you put in your YouTube URL from your video, and then now you have to put in your audio blocks track URL. Over here on YouTube, if we go back to say this first one here, the newest one, you'll see that the song That Love Is Me by Planet Wardo is the track that's being claimed against. So if I select this, I go over here and I paste that in, you're gonna find that it gives a whole lot of results that are not necessarily specific to the one we're looking for. So they want me to remember what track I used in a video six months ago. Absolutely unacceptable. This is the worst copyright claim system that there is. Number one, it's royalty free audio. I shouldn't be having to file a claim for using this service at all. I should be able to just go into YouTube, put my video there, and call it good. Audio blocks could just whitelist my URL, but they don't. So my suggestion is don't use audio blocks. I'm not paying for it again. It's trash. The audio is kind of meh anyway. It's nowhere near as good as Epidemic Sound. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Neither one of these people are paying me. Epidemic Sound, let me jump over here to the computer and I can show you real quick. When you set up your account, you put in your channel that you're subscribing to. Mine, listed in there just fine. I've never had one single copyright claim from Epidemic Sound and I've been using them for a couple of months now because Epidemic Sound does not let artists sell their music to multiple places. Over on Audio Blocks, what happens is an artist will sell their audio there and then they will sell it somewhere else and somewhere else and all these people will file content claims against it. They're allowing them to sell it to multiple places. Epidemic Sound is not doing that. All the music is exclusive there, and that's just, and, and it's better. For any of you that care or need audio, I highly recommend Epidemic Sound. It's what I'm using in all my videos. It's what a lot of the good, big creators we all look up to use, Peter McKinnon, Ryan Cow, just a lot of them. That's, that's where they go to get their music. It's cheap, it's like $15 a month unless you have a bigger channel, and then the price is kind of tiered or whatever. I don't really have to worry about that. I'm on the low end of it. I like their service. I like their music. I'm going to keep using it. It's really all I've got to say about that. So if you guys like this content, I would really appreciate it if you would slap that subscribe button and hit the little bell that's right next to it. I think it's on this side. That way you get notified every time I upload new content. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video.